Wow, so first time recording myself on camera, drinking a beer. Thought no better time than Treehouse Green. My buddy Joe. I'm gonna go ahead and get this baby open, pour it out into a glass, see what we think. Wow, the color on that. I mean, I don't know if I've ever had a cloudier IPA. Holding it up to the light, not a lot of light down here, but it's completely transparent. Tangerine color, almost like straw. I mean, you can't see through that to save your, save your life. Wow. Nose is huge, huge citrus. Like, oranges, orange peel especially. Pineapple, peaches. I get the grapefruit, a lot of other people have talked about, just citrus bomb, like, that's huge, almost like a bubblicious bubble gum. That's great. Let's dig in. Joe, thank you, sir. Wow. The bitterness up front on that beer is like just a dank, just bomb. And I think the bitterness goes back to that, like the citrus, like the like peel, like orange peel, grapefruit peel, is where that bitterness is coming from. That's just and a great mouthfeel. That beer is bitey as hell. Just like a massive, just bomb goes off in your mouth. That's um, wow, it's mighty tasty. Let's see what what facts we can get on this. Treehouse seven and a half percent. Well, that's that's about where I'd put that seven and a half to eight. I mean, it's definitely definitely some alcohol there. I'd be curious what the IBUs are on this beer, and I'd actually be really curious as to what the hops are in this beer. Um, definitely quite a few. I mean, this is you can't get this effect from a single hopped beer like a Citra hop or Mosaic or, I mean, whatever the case may be. Nelson's been around a lot lately. That's huge. I mean. As far as dank, like massive uh, double IPA IPAs, I'm assuming this is a double. I mean, as far as that's concerned, this is, I mean, it's up there with the best. I mean, I, the problem is I've had dinner lately, which is my favorite. Um, this doesn't do it for me. There's more juiciness in Citra or in dinner, but um, I mean, this is right up there. This has got a great mouthfeel. This is a mouthfeel unlike I've ever experienced with a double IPA. It's like, it stays on your tongue, creaminess. Um, I mean, A plus. I mean, I don't, I don't do ratings, but uh, it's right up there. I mean, this is a top ten IPA. I mean, top five IPA. This is fantastic. I wish I had more than I have one more can. I'm gonna share with some people, but uh, this one's all to me. So, Joe, thank you, sir. Cheers.